Stevenson falls to Immaculata, 66-64. Glenn Clark with head coach Gary Stewart. Coach, when you when you have a game like that where you you don't make a three, it, it, do you chalk it up to bad luck and say, you know, that's probably never going to happen again? Or were there mistakes made and shot selection? How do you go about looking at that? No, I thought I thought uh, we were um, playing last night's game or second, so it was going well for us from three, and so we took some shots that. Um, um, were ill-advised, but then we had some opportunities where we were open and, and they just didn't go down, and that's basketball. The way that this team fought back, when you mentioned last night, it, it looked at times like maybe their legs weren't there, but the way that they fought back in the second half, closed in that gap, got into it, how proud are you of the fight that they showed? Well, I, I think that our kids are resilient, and um, you know, you go back to last week at Elizabethtown, we were down by 13. Um, now the key to it is not to get down uh, yeah. in, in that deficit, but I, I thought we, we uh, fought um, and fought and fought and finally got even, um, and then came up empty on some offensive opportunities. A couple of them, we had just wide open looks and, and didn't go down, and, and again, that's basketball, and then uh, conversely, they came down and and uh, scored right at the rim on three different possessions. And we had played really good defense in the second half up to that point. And then all of a sudden, uh, we get beat knowing that he's going to go left. He goes left and scores. Comes down again knowing he's going to go left, goes left and scores again. And uh, and then after at the timeout, we talked about it's going into Tillery. It goes into Tillery. So when, when those things happen, um, you know, you got to give credit to Immaculata. And, and um, we got to get better. Speaking of uh, your defense in the second half, I thought Cooley really on both ends of the floor, obviously, turning defense into offense and his sort of attack mode jumped off the page at me today. Yeah, he's really, really explosive and a really good com uh, um, competitor. And, um, and, and his best basketball is ahead of him. So as he gets more and more acclimated to um, this level and, and how it's officiated and how we want to play, um, he's going to get better and better and better. Coach, just your thoughts on uh, hosting this event, the Mustang Classic, and what your team got out of it, what it did for everybody. Yeah, I think it, uh, time will tell in relationship to what we got out of it, but there's certainly some lessons for us uh, in the two games. And um, uh, we knew it was going to be uh, a challenge. Their system is, is uh, difficult, and um, they really um, – um, are good because they can get into where they need to get into off the bounce and you can't foul. You're 80% free throw shooter and every all five guys are excellent free throw shooters. So, so that was good for us. And um, hopefully uh, sooner than later, we can heed some of the lessons in this game and, and uh, move forward accordingly. Right, Coach, appreciate it. We'll see you back here on Tuesday night. Thank you, Glenn. He's Gary Stewart. I'm Glenn Clark. Go Mustang Sports TV.